good morning and welcome to your maths class students my name is purti and i will be taking your maths classes okay so the first topic in maths for first grade is pre number concepts so what are these pre number concepts these are something that help you to learn what we are going to do in mathematics in further classes all right so for uh, the thing what we are going to study the topic what we are going to study in pre number concepts is comparing we are going to compare two things okay so let's start with today's class okay so we are going to study what is comparing so comparing two things means to examine the differences between numbers or quantities for example all things are different out of different shapes sizes correct some things are bigger some things are smaller some are long some are short okay so this is how we are going to compare things so first we have longer and shorter what do i mean by longer and shorter when a length of an object is more then it is called longer for example in this uh, picture this blue whale is longer why is it longer because its length is longer so we measure the length of the whale from one end to another end that is from the mouth of the whale till the tail of the whale okay so this blue whale is longer and the smaller whale or the length of the whale which is less that is called shorter so this is the meaning of longer and shorter now in these two the purple whale is shorter because its length is less the same way in the footprints now the length of the footprint the purple footprint is more so the length of the purple footprint is longer so they have asked which footprint is longer the purple one is longer now among these three snakes which is longer and one is which is shorter the green snake is shorter and the pink snake is uh, sorry the green snake is longer and the pink snake is shorter okay and the blue snake is longer than the pink snake and shorter than the green one all right so this is the meaning of longer and shorter after longer and shorter we have taller and shorter taller means when you measure the height of a object now here they are measuring the height of this giraffe from top to bottom so this is tall okay the in the same way in this building this green building is taller because its height is greater and the red building is shorter now among this clown which is taller the yellow clown is taller the same way in this rocket which is shorter they asking so the blue rocket is shorter because it has a lesser height then coming to bigger and smaller bigger means something which is large and smaller means something which is little now among these moons the first moon is bigger and the second one is smaller the same way in the pumpkins this pumpkin is bigger because it is large and this second pumpkin is short, smaller because it is little all right then thicker and thinner thicker and thinner means when an object is of very wide okay so when you see these two sides between the pencil the length between the pens two sides of the pencil is greater and in the second pencil the length between the two sides of the pencil is less so the first pencil is thicker and the second one is thinner all right heavier and lighter heavier and lighter means when you weigh objects that is when you take the weight of two objects one weight is uh, one will be very heavy one will be very light for example this elephant here is very heavy and the ant is light so elephant is heavier than the ant and ant is lighter than the elephant then top and bottom top and bottom means when something is on up when something is up for example this bird is on top of the flag post and the cat is on at the bottom of the flag post okay then we have on in and under on means when you keep something on top of something that is this pencil is on the book okay in means when you are keeping something inside a thing for example this blue box is inside the basket and the sharpener here is below the table so it means under okay when you are keeping below something it means under for example pillows are on the bed and a trunk is below under the bed so this is on and under then last is nearer and farther in nearer and farther we have for example here this bird that is there this one is very close to the house so this is nearer to the house and this uh, orange bird which is there it is far away from the house so this is farther from the house so we have nearer and 
father okay so this was some comparison words next what we are going to do is we are going to see some exercise in your textbook okay now so what first thing what you are going to see is tall short and equal now among these three that is this giraffe this giraffe is the height of the giraffe is very big so this is tall then this rabbit the length of the rabbit is small so this is short or shorter and these two trees when you see the height of the trees are same so this is called equal so these are the first three words that is tall short and equal then taller or shorter now this man is taller than this boy right so he is taller and the boy is shorter okay so he is taller and shorter but when you are measuring the length of things it is called longer and smaller now coming to these buildings the height of this big building that is the green building is taller and the orange building is shorter okay the same way the, here they have asked color the taller one red and the shorter one green now for your homework what you have to do is you have to color which is taller and color which is shorter now this man here is taller than the small boy so you'll color him red and then you'll color the boy green color they have told to color the shorter one green so you color him green the same way for these trees now coconut trees which one is taller this one is taller so you'll color it red and the shorter one you'll color green okay and the taller tree you'll color it red color so this is red color okay so you'll color it like this color it like this for your homework then next page okay what is there in the next page thick can thin now this candle here the width of the candle is more so this is thicker and the width of this candle is less or it is narrow or slim so this is thin now between these two boys this boy is fat and this one is thin so he is called fat and he is called thin now same way heavy and light we saw right the and, uh, elephant is very big or huge so it is heavy and this mouse is light because it is very small its weight is very less so it is light now here they have told color the heavy object orange and the light object green now what you will do is you will color the heavy object orange so you will color this orange and the light object you will color it as orange okay so you will color it orange sorry green not orange green okay the same way they have told color the fat cat red and the thin one yellow which is fat here the first one is fat so you will color him red okay so you color the first cat red color and the second one is the thinner one so you will color him in yellow color okay so you color him yellow so this is yellow now they have told draw a thick line and a thin line so what you can do you can draw a very thick line for example this and for thin you all can draw like this this is a thin line and this is a thick line okay so you can shade it thicker and you can make this very thin using a sharp pencil all right so this were thick and thin heavy and light okay then after this next we have more or less now what's the meaning of more or less when there's a lot of things then it is called more and when there's very little things and it's called leaves for example this tree it has many leaves so it has this means this tree has more leaves and this tree when you see it has very less number of leaves so this is called less this plant has less leaves now here they have asked you the tick the collection that has more so which collection has more chocolates or toffees the first one it has more number of toffees so you tick on that tick mark okay so you put a tick mark over there so you put a tick mark in the box like that then they have told take the collection that has less so you see here the pencil we have only three pencil here but in the second image we have more number of pencil so they have told us to take the collection that has less so you will take the first one okay then inside and out what's the meaning of inside 
when you keep something inside of a box or inside of something and it's called inside for example these oranges are inside the basket and the papaya is outside the basket okay or for example i am standing outside the class and you all are sitting inside the class all right so this is our meaning of inside and outside now here take the correct word the students are inside or outside the classroom where are they they are inside the classroom not out they are sitting inside so you will take on inside then the dog is inside or outside the house now see the dog it is outside the house so you will take on outside okay now the next one is your homework take the inside objects and cross the outside objects so what you have to do here now you have to take mark the objects which are inside and cross which are out now the football the first one it is outside the net so you will put a cross mark like this and the first next one is inside the net so you will put a tick mark same way over here the fruits are inside the basket so you will put a tick mark and these are outside the basket so you will put a cross mark then these chocolates are inside the cupboard so you will put a tick mark like this and these are outside so you will put a cross mark okay so this is the meaning of inside and outside all right then the next one so last okay so these are some value based questions okay now you have to complete this sentences so what you, i want you to do is i want you to do this for your homework can you complete this for your homework that is a value based questions okay complete it for question uh, for your homework